Thanks for watching us. We are joined by Azar Saeed, Chief Technologist at Red Hat. Azar, thank you very much for joining us. It's my pleasure to be here. Azar, where have you seen service providers use automation to reshape some aspects of their businesses? We've seen actually a lot of service providers use automation because automation provides them scale. And uh, there, are some self, there are very good examples of some of the service providers using automation to, to optimize their networks. I think Elisa was one of them who has actually shown a, a demo last year at here at Mobile World Congress, where they've optimized their radio network using automation. Uh, we have several other examples of people using automation like Telstra. They actually presented at the Ansible conference last year as well, talking about how they've done taken automation to the next level in, in the entire stack. Uh, particularly network automation is key because there are so many different devices, there are so many different elements that there is no one common way of dealing with it. So trying to do, using something like Ansible to automate across some diverse devices is really important. Um, there are other examples of other service providers who have done some really good work around automation so to streamline their operations, to streamline their uh, installation, configuration, and management. So what have been the success factors that really make a difference, according to you? I think the key success factor in all of these is having that initial thought to automate across the board. Um, we've seen also some other attempts to actually organically grow automation in different groups. What happens when you do that is while that's a good thing to actually get the uh, people across the organization use different automation tools, uh, it also provides some level of complexity around independent automation mushrooms, you know, if, or our islands, if you will. And then there is less commonality. When there, there's less commonality, there's less reuse. Um, the success factor in terms of having a better automation across the board is to actually rethink from ground up and say, um, you have to have a central strategy around automation. What are you doing with respect to the overall system? What are you doing with respect to applications? What are you doing with respect to uh, with operations? And then through that, you will be able to address common topics that come across all of these, which is infrastructure, infrastructure security with respect to automation. Is this just about network automation? Not at all. In fact, um, Network automation is a key element. It's a very important element because the diversity of devices that you see in the network are many. So yes, that is a big problem to solve. However, you need automation across the board in terms of application deployment, application management, infrastructure, which is compute storage. You know, how do you automate that particular infrastructure in terms of its install base? Um, you, how do you operate that whole thing? And then taking a complete 360 degree look um, use So Ansible is a fantastic tool to look at in the entire stack, including the development process, the DevOps, you know, the IT uh, component of it. So it's, it's the entire stack, and then not just in the private cloud space, but you need to also look at it from a public, private um, footprint as well. So bare metal, virtualized environments, non-virtualized environments, public clouds and private clouds across the board. So it has to be a complete full view, not just a network view, in order to really gain benefit because that's when you really look at a number of other things uh, with respect to compliance, with respect to streamlining uh, management and operations uh, across the board. So how does automation ties into security? It, that security is a very big topic and a very long topic, but automation can play a very key role in improving the overall security of the infrastructure. For example, most of the environments today are hybrid. We also know that a majority of the um, cyber attacks that happen on the infrastructure are based on known vulnerabilities. Interestingly, not unknown vulnerabilities, but known vulnerabilities. So in that context, people, um, what happens is when you have hybrid environments where you're doing manually changing something, and then you have some environments that are automated, that can create a loophole in the entire infrastructure. So what automation can do is actually do a check against the configs, which we call as drift. This is a config drift. So we actually take a look at the existing environment and take a look at what, it, what should exist in the system. 
And when you do a comparison, you'll see that there is a drift in configuration. When you see a drift in configuration, that means that configuration is out of compliance. So you can do a full compliance check of the infrastructure that way and actually improve security significantly uh, in that environment. Now when you're doing it across applications, across roles, across network infrastructure, across computer infrastructure, you can actually have, you have the opportunity to secure the full stack. So automation plays a very, very important role in terms of building the overall security of the system. Uh, well, the security is a big topic, as I said earlier. Uh, it's a, you know, you can deal with it in de many different aspects, but automation plays a very key, very central role in actually improving that. Azan Said, thank you very much for joining us. It was a real pleasure talking to you today. Thank you. Thank you very much, Charlotte. It's been a pleasure. I hope the Mobile World Congress is going great for you.